We already know about ideal and practical voltage sources and now we will try to understand what is an ideal current source and what is a practical current source and we will begin our discussion with ideal current source. An ideal current source has infinite internal resistance. This means the internal resistance or the source resistance is equal to infinite ohms and it delivers the energy at a specified current and this specified current is independent of the voltage across the source and we know the fact that in case of current source there is a current source and this current source will provide the source current IS and the current source is connected in parallel with a source resistance or the internal resistance and they together form a current source and therefore the current the current you will get from this current source will be equal to the current you will have after dividing is with resistance rs for example let's say is is divided here and current i1 is now flowing through rs therefore the current you will get from this source will be equal to Is minus I1. So this current will be the current any element connected across the terminals of the current source will get. So this is something we already know and now we will move on to the case in which we have ideal current source and here we are having the infinite internal resistance and we can represent the infinite internal resistance by an open circuit because we know when there is open circuit the resistance offered is infinity the source current is is and here at this node the current will get divided let's say current through infinite resistance is i1 and we know infinite resistance will not allow any current to pass through it therefore i1 will be equal to zero and all the current provided by the source that is is will move to this path so when you connect any element when you connect any element across the two nodes of the source then this element will have current is passing through it and let's say the voltage across the two terminals is equal to V volts and therefore we can say that the voltage V will not affect the current drawn from the source and let's say this element is drawing current I from the source and in this case current I is equal to IS because RS is equal to infinity and here you can see that I is independent of voltage V therefore we have written it delivers the energy to this particular element at a specified current that is IS and this current is independent of the voltage across the source and the voltage across the source is equal to V now when we plot the variation of current I with change in voltage V we will have something like this current I will always be equal to IS no matter what is the voltage across the source so we can keep on increasing the voltage and current I will remain constant so we can have any voltage across the terminals of the source without affecting the current drawn from the source so this is all for ideal current source now we will move on to practical current source practical current source has finite internal resistance this means rs is not equal to infinity and it delivers the energy at a specified current which is dependent on the voltage across the source let's take the finite source resistance rs and let us connect one element across the terminals of the source is is the source current 
and at this node i s will get divided let's say i1 is the current flowing through r s and i is the current flowing through this element then using kcl we can say that i s is equal to i plus i1 or we can say that i is equal to i s minus i1 and the voltage across the source is equal to v volts and therefore the voltage across resistance r s is also equal to v volts and from ohm's law we can say that current i1 is equal to v over r s so we can write i is equal to i s minus v over r s and from this equation it is clear that the current drawn by this element from the source is depending on the voltage across the source why because current i is equal to i s minus v over r s so when we increase voltage v then v over r s will increase and therefore current i will decrease and when we plot the relation between current i and voltage v we will have something like this on increasing the voltage current i will decrease and the dashed line is the ideal behavior like we are having here and when voltage v is equal to 0 volts we will have i equal to i s therefore this current here is equal to the source current i s so this is all for this lecture there are many other important points related to the sources which we will discuss in the coming lectures.